In the previous video, we imported a spreadsheet into an existing table. This video covers a special capability to import a spreadsheet and create the target table at the same time. This is most commonly done when creating a new application. This feature is part of Guided Application Creator, or if you prefer, Guided App Creator. Let's take a look. Our goal is to create a table to track gift items employees receive from vendors, customers, trade shows, and so on, and the values of those items. The team using it realized that the spreadsheet is no longer scalable and they want a better system of record. So we're going to use this gift item spreadsheet as a starting point for our application. Let's get started. In the navigation filter in the upper left, we'll type Studio. This allows us to quickly get to System Applications Studio. So we'll click that. Another browser tab appears, and this is Studio. This is where we can create and manage different parts of our application configurations and development. We do have other resources on Guided App Creator, so we'll keep this one fairly simple to demonstrate the spreadsheet import and table creation. Let's start by clicking Create Application. A welcome screen appears, and we click Let's Get Started to continue. We'll give our new application a name. Gift, Description, Gift Management, and click Create. For simplicity's sake, we'll pick an existing role, Admin, which will apply some basic security to the table, and then we'll click Continue. We won't be doing anything special with the UI, so we'll just click Classic and once again, Continue. Now when asked which table to use, we click Create New Table at the bottom. Here's where we get to upload a spreadsheet. So we click Upload Spreadsheet and Continue. We'll navigate to the downloaded gift item spreadsheet then on the following screen. Verify the row number for the column headers and be sure to check Import Spreadsheet Data. If you don't check this, it'll create a table but you won't get the data imported from the spreadsheet at the same time. After we click Continue, the system processes the spreadsheet we uploaded and reports back on what it found. We're going to need to make a few modifications because the Now platform offers some options that Excel doesn't. First, we'll change the field type of state from a string to a choice, which will appear on the form as a drop-down list. Next, we'll click the down arrow on the far right to reveal some options for this field. We'll put in a couple of choices for the state, new, registered, so on. Scrolling down, we see that the date received field was properly identified as a date field. We'll change the estimated value to a floating point number and make the description field 100 characters in case someone's feeling a bit more verbose. And here's where we'll take advantage of an existing table on the system. We're going to change the employee field from a string to a reference and change the reference table to sysuser. That way, we don't have to make employees type in their name each time they register a new gift. They'll already be in the system and can simply choose it. Reference fields are very helpful, and I invite you to take a look at them if you haven't already. If needed, we could scroll back up to the top and add additional fields. We're going to leave that alone and click Continue. Now to give our table a label, item, and a table name is automatically generated for us. Note that we didn't call the table items with an S, since the system already knows how to make singular names plural and addressing a singular record as items might be confusing. Additionally, we didn't call the table gift item since the table name already has gift in it in the application name. So the label is short and sweet as well as the table name makes sense without being redundant. We'll also go back and check this box to auto-number the records. That way we can reference them as a simple ID rather than that iPad Jane received in December 2019. We'll change the prefix to gift, so numbering will start with gift 001000 and start counting up. Then click continue. The system creates the table, some simple security rules, the number management, and most importantly, imports the records. So let's just click continue. We could import additional spreadsheets this way from the same screen by clicking Create New Table and repeating the process, but for the sake of this exercise, let's just click Done with Tables. The last step is to configure the navigation menu so we can find our new table and records easily. So we'll click Start. We'll review the details of the menu name, item table that were created, and leave it accessible to anyone with the admin role, then click Create. 
we've done everything we need to do. So on the next screen, we just click done with apps and finally click done. Now back on the main browser tab, let's refresh the screen. And when we type gift in the navigation filter, we see our new menu and module to show all the records from the spreadsheet. And there they are. The spreadsheet import and creating a table is only available in Guided App Creator when we first create a new application. After that, we would need to create the table manually and then import using either Easy Import, as seen in the previous video, or create a data source, as we're going to cover in upcoming videos. I hope you'll join me for that.